Hey, what's up, everyone? AJ here, and I'm joined by Katie. Hey. And um, we are narrating some uh, gameplay of Breath of the Wild that I did over a month ago, back on July 5th. <laughs> um, took us a long time to decide to turn it into a video, but as you can see on the map here, Lome Labyrinth Island. That's where we're going to be going. And uh, it is to show you all our little guardian farm that we realized a lot of people don't know about. Not not a, you know, just a few people that we've told about. So we thought we could make it into a video and just, if you're interested in farming for guardian parts, it's a nice place to go and it refreshes every blood moon. So, um, so I started here at the, uh, at the lab in the Northeast, um, just to show you all how to get there because this is, you have to glide to it. And when we first did this, we, we didn't even know if we were doing what we were supposed to be doing, right? Yeah, I was freaking out. Yeah, we were like, yeah. And then I saw the flying guardians, and I was freaking out even more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think this was the first time we saw them. I think you're right. So, I I, I don't know that for a fact, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was like, what are those? Yeah. But, um, but yeah, um, this is like a maze. It's, it's a giant maze, and we're not going to be showing you all the maze um, in this video, or how to complete the maze, but if you do that on your own, um, you can get to that shrine up there that you can see. It was just at the top of the screen um, to open up a warp point um, to be able to get to where most of the guardians are that we farm. But in this little open area, there is one. You can see him looking at me. <laughs> so before I engage him, I'm going to run over here because... Um, I, I, I did this video right after I did the Lionel video. So in the Lionel video, I was butt naked and I decided, I decided to do it in this video too. So, <laughs> so I come over here and take off my clothes. Now I am using, um, Stasis Plus and I'm also using the Master Sword. Um, I highly recommend using the Master Sword if you're going to be farming for Guardians, just because, you know, 60 offense against Guardians, um, it, it doubles its its power, um, you know, against guardians. And uh, also, it's just like, you would go through so many weapons otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, if you're farming for guardians, like, if you're making a conscious effort to just go kill as many guardians as you can, I just, I highly recommend using the Master Sword. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, obviously, if you don't have it yet, you just got to play the game without it. But if you're, like, deliberately farming for guardians, I say you should wait until you have the Master Sword. It's a uh, renewable resource. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what we say. It's a renewable resource. So, yeah. So anyway, um, you don't using Stasis Plus um, isn't even that necessary. I mean, it's it's pretty easy to avoid Guardian's attacks. Um, the main thing to use it for is just if you're trying to interrupt their laser beam, like if they're about to shoot it at you. Um, you can use it to just interrupt them, and then they, you know, have to restart their targeting, um, you know, time. But, uh, it's, it's not like the Lionel video, where I really needed to use the stasis to beat them naked. It was like, look at that, got an ancient core. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> yep, that's what we're looking for. Um, but yeah, so, so Guardians are definitely, uh, able to be beaten. Um, without using Stasis Plus and without getting hit, um, but I was just using it. Um, the, the, the Master Sword is what's really critical here. Which, speaking of which, <laughs> um, I was low on energy of it. I, d I didn't realize that it was low on energy when I started this. So I went and screwed around for a while, uh, used it up, let it recharge, and then warped back to the shrine. Then you jump into this hole, and voila, you are in the scary guardian chamber where you are greeted by four stationary guardians all pissed off and wondering why you broke into their house. <laughs> um, it's a beehive. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so there's six guardians in this in this area. There's the four stationary ones that you can see, and then uh, there's two with legs. So I'm going to put on uh, the stasis, uh, stasis vision and um, show you all the six that we're hunting for. So there's the one with legs, then there's three stationary ones, and then to the right there's another stationary one, and then the other one with legs. So Now from here, I don't really need to necessarily be like doing a play-by-play. -play. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just use the Master Sword, 
hit some guardians, dodge their laser beams, maybe use stasis every now and then. So. Yeah, this might not be the like absolute best, you know, farming grounds for uh, guardian pieces and parts, but this is what we like to do because it's. I think we like it because it's like contained and pretty easy access just to run over here. Yeah, it's pretty simple. There's a blood moon, yeah. and we're like, hey, Master Sword's fully charged up. <laughs> just go, go, farm those seven guardians real quick. <laughs> Take this stuff. So yeah. In your birthday suit, if you want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For added thrill. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I do go for the four stationary ones first. I forget if I already said that. Um, mm -hmm. Just because the two with legs don't activate until you get close to them. So. Yeah, the stationary ones definitely have the range of uh, radar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're they're more dangerous at first when you. When the others are just sleeping, it's like, let sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> um, yeah, so Katie and I, um, we kind of wanted to spend the second half of this video, just while you're watching me slay some guardians here, uh, talking about 2017 Game of the Year, which we're almost two-thirds through 2017. That's pretty hard to believe. Wild. Wild. So, just a couple weeks away from the two-thirds mark. And, uh, right now, so, what, what? I was just gonna say real fast that I talked, I was talking to my mom about Zelda, which, yes, my parents are playing Breath of the Wild, and it's amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I said something about the game was wild, and she was like, Breath of the Wild? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, I cracked up. Okay, sorry. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, and when she says her parents play Breath of the Wild, like, they play Breath of the Wild. They've beaten all four Divine Beasts. Mm -hmm. Well, not beaten, but, you know, cleared, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Um, They're obsessed. They, yeah, so. It's <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah, so, but 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 anyway, so, five uh, uh, about five months ago, we had this dilemma where we were like, Horizon Zero Dawn and Breath of the Wild, why did these two games have to come out in the same year? Those were our two games back in March where we were like, wow, these two games are so incredible. It's crazy that they released just days apart, much less in the same year. Yeah. And now we have to, you know, pick between them. But you and I pretty much agreed Breath of the Wild is the better game. Mm -hmm. um, and that's in the game. Opinion. In our <laughs> opinion. Yes. So right now, that's our game of the year. Yeah. And um, But Horizon Zero Dawn, I don't know how close it is for you. For me, it's a very close second. See, I have put like I, I haven't played uh, Horizon Zero Dawn enough I feel like to have even like a fair opinion but I feel like for you you've actually put probably I mean yeah equal time 60 and, yeah 60 hours I mean you you watched me though yeah. for probably about like 80 percent of all that I played yeah. in Horizon Zero Dawn right so you are very well versed I'm just saying yeah yeah I agree that yes, I do believe that Breath of the Wild is yeah, on my personal, uh, per my personal number one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, and then really, there's no other game currently that comes close. Um, and it's crazy. Oh, here's my second ancient core from this. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Have a good haul. Good haul. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, it, it, we thought, you know, back in back in March, we were like, yeah, these are our two game game of the year candidates right now. Like, well, but what's going to be coming? And it's crazy because five months later, we feel exactly the same way. Yeah. Here we are in August, and it's still just between those two games. Yeah. And looking ahead, mm, some heavy hitters on the way. There are some heavy hitters, but are there <laughs> any that can challenge those two games? And yeah, I mean, we we pretty much agree. Super Mario Odyssey is the only one that has a real a real chance. For us. For us. <laughs> to become better than Breath of the Wild for the year. Now, some game could surprise us. I mean, you and I got our hands on Assassin's Creed Origins at, at E3, and, mm -hmm. I mean, it, they did rework the combat. They were, they, they reworked the game, It's it, and, I mean, there's a lot of cool new you know elements to it, mm -hmm. and that's a series you and I both love. Yeah. And then, you know, there's other games, too. You, you, you just never know, um, but... We're you know. excited for a ton of games, but yeah. even so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think anything for me will will top those two. Yeah, I mean we'll we'll see. Yeah, you know, but it's I mean oh, it's yeah. yeah yeah. So, um, 
you know, obviously things could, but it's it's kind of like sports. You know, you have like a few teams that are like, okay, those are the ones that are probably going to win the championship, but we'll see. I mean, you never know, you know. You, but yeah, I mean, because I mean, obviously, like until we play the games, aka until the playoffs come, um, we're we're not going to know for sure. But um, yeah. But yeah, exciting. Yeah. yeah. Good year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just those two games. games. Yeah. Yeah. So far, it has been. Yeah. yeah. Um. But, uh, yeah, so we hope you all enjoyed. That's our our guardian farm. And um, hope it was helpful also. And we're Katie and AJ. So like this video and comment down below. Subscribe. So we put out multiple videos a week. And uh, we will see you all later.